Oban, well near Oban in the Western Isles of Scotland. I've brought my son. He's got um, ancestry linked here. He's quite proud to be here. He's the Dalry Adam Prince in Scotland. <laughs> uh, there's Viking reenactments over here, but we just told them, nah, no for us. So uh, <laughs> this is the horse. What was it? The, the stables. Was this the stables? What did they say that was? Aye, I think it was the stables. This is a castle here, guys. This is just the uh, one side of it. It's huge. It's like a quadra, quadrangle. What do you call it? A, a four-sided castle. It's got four towers on each side. And the walls actually are built round it. They didn't jut out. You can usually see the towers on the four, the four corners. They usually stick out. Aye. Can they, they jut out usually. Blended in. Aye, but it's blended in with the masonry. You're right. I like that. Blended in. You can see it's built on a, a rocky... Like a, a bit of rock sticking at the ground there. But we're going to... We're going to head to the chapel. Like, old guys with the big white beards that like, are Viking I'm sure they put them on boats and just send them out to the sea when they're that age. Because <laughs> they weren't good for fighting, they weren't good for hunting, they weren't good for just eating stuff <laughs> and sleeping. So I think they would just put them on a boat and send them out to the, the sea and let God take care of them. But aye, we're heading to the chapel, people. Well, like I was telling my son about these uh, hogback stones, these Viking, these so-called Viking stones. I've got a funny feeling the Vikings could have just been the Anglo-Saxons. Hmm. What do you think about that, son? Probably. They came over for this. They came over the same part of water. They came practically for the same kind of land. They had similar culture, Germanic cultures, Anglo-Saxons and the Vikings. Yeah, same boats. What if there wasn't any Vikings, there was just Anglo Saxons? Hmm. <laughs> this is the old chapel, Dunstaffnage Chapel, hidden away in the woods. It's quite a big one, actually. Plain looking. Aye. Like yep. Yep. We just walk around the side of it now. There's a lot of uh, silver birch down there. You know what that means, son? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll check it out. Yeah, that looks old. Smell. Smell that. Halloween smell. No, Aye. Uh, it's like the rotten leaves, the vegetation and the, the dampness. Credem is Cine, faith and family. Synod. It's a synod. The sun shines on the righteous. This is one of the finest chapels of its time and you can see many of its architectural features. The simple nave windows provided a little light for the congregation, but the chancel and its altar would have been awash with sunlight during the summer services. The pairs of chancel windows have wide splayed arches on the inside, ornamented with a dog tooth carving. It's likely that the doorways would also have been elaborately carved, but only fragments remain. The chapel had no burial rites, and so the MacDougall family were probably interred on Lismore, the Isle of Lismore near Oban, which boasted the cathedral of St. Mulag. This is where Moloch comes from, people. The, the Celtic god Moloch, not the Mesopotamian god Moloch, the Celtic god Moloch. After the Protestant Reformation of the 1560s, when the Campbells were the masters of Dunstaffnage, they built a burial aisle next to the east gable of this chapel and filled it with memorials to members of the family. It would have been quite brightly coloured back in the day.
getting some footage, son. Good stuff. How you doing, Kelt uh, Epic and David? Aye, aye, Moloch's Celtic. Didn't he believe that Moloch has some kind of biblical Babylonian Mesopotamian? Oh, that's nice, eh? Oh, look. That's a square in the compass, son. Aye. That's a Masonic mark. Freemasons. So when was this part built? This was later on. They said it was the Campbells that put this on. Aye. Aye. So this was later on. I think it was 1500s, it says over there. So that is probably Memento Mori period. Mm -hmm. for, for this kind of style. Can I just see I'm looking for just a stone. There's pigment there. You know, on it. Nah, I think it's just a stone, son. Mm. Here. In memory of John Bain Merchant Oban. Died 25th of January, this is a plaque to him. I've noticed that this like actually, t actually gets the uh, features, like you can see it better. Like, you know, the you can't see it with your eye, eye, but you can see it with the, the yeah. camera. Much clearer on the camera. Aye, wait when you see it on the screen, on the big aye. screen in 4K. So guys, this is a chapel in the woods. Have a wee look on the outside. Look how rough it looks, that dark stone that they use, that really dark stone. And you can see it's, it's not like the ashlar style stone that the English use. Ashlar is like cut blocks, kind of clean blocks, you, you, you've already worked it. You've already worked a block and then you put it in. These are like um, rubble, it's like rubble. You see where there used to be some pillars here? There would have been an archway here. You can see that's the bottom of an archway. It would have been here. And there's the top of it left. It's quite a big, I'd probably say that's about 12 feet up there. And this is probably the a bit for the Campbells over here as well. All right, George Campbell. Just wonder what was on the. I'll take a photo of my son. Just put my hand here. Just a wee man taking a foot of his dad. You can still see some of the decoration here. It's really worn, really worn. See up here. See some, some decoration, some carved pieces and pillars. Nice, eh? it's dark, dark stone, eh? But this would have been covered in plaster. All the walls would have been smoothed and decorative back in ancient times. You can see in this picture here what would it would have looked like. How you doing, Kenneth Mackey? We're up at Dunstaffenage Castle. Away up at Oban. About two and a half hour drive from the Lothians. But look how thick those walls are. What do you think, son? Three feet, two and a half feet, three feet thick. I'm already tied to it, so just pretend that I'm now you're over five foot now, son. You're taller than your mum and she's five two. You're about five foot four now, son. Mm. Right guys. Well you walk right round it. Surrounding area, it's amazing, eh? Tree. Aye. You see, it looks like stone or something under that tree. Look at that. It's like the roots are embedded in stone. No, it's just wood.
Oh, look at that. This, this, it's like coral fungus. I think that's what they call this coral fungus. And there's some fly ag ag agaric, agaric as well. There we go. There's some of the. I think it, actually, I'm not sure if it is because it's not got a universal skirt on it. But this is the. Uh, I'm not sure if that is one, son. Mind you, I think it could be. I think it could be. There's certain ones, there's certain fungi that go a certain colour with the rain. I've got the pores around. I've got the pores spread around. So it can grow again. Nothing really decorative though, eh? Like... Protestant church. Ah, it's like the old, old Protestant church. Old church of Scotland. Not very decorative. You find that Catholic churches are a lot more elaborate and decorative. And then again, like, Even the architecture. I wonder if the roof is more... You know, if you put a roof on this, it probably looks better. Aye. That's what most Catholic churches you'll notice about them. They have, like, you know, the grand roofing and that. Yep. Oh, look, there's still something here. It's like a skull. Yeah. It's a weird style, there. Oh, yeah. The teeth are sort of underneath. It's almost as if there might be a jaw there. There's maybe something underneath it. Aye, maybe something was in between because there's another one here. Maybe it was like a candle, Can maybe it hold, held a candle or a lantern. I don't know, it looks like it should have. Aye, you're right. You didn't usually see these symbols on the churches themselves, it's usually the graves. There's another one there. So David's saying he's not far from there, should take a spin round while you're round the area. And I think there is a labyrinth out past Ganavan also. Maybe one day, man, I'll still explore this uh, castle. And I've probably got to be here for a couple of hours. And then it's a couple of hour drive back, so. Well, thanks for the suggestion. It was really nice of you, man. Thanks. And like I said, didn't rule it out because next time I'm up here. Maybe myself. I didn't want to take my son to any strange people. Is there someone that lives, one of my viewers lives near here. And they're saying you could pop round, spin round. Right guys, we're gonna have a look at the castle. Pretty epic. You're getting some good photos, son. Good video. Didn't he be shy trying to do like a Dutch angle or can try and get a low shot really close looking up and trying to be dynamic with the, the shots. Ken, how you're taking a video under the water like that? Aye. Does it automatically adjust when you put it upside down? Aye, aye. Oh. It flips around. Aye, that's good. Flips around, yep. So it doesn't film upside down. Mm -hmm. It films level. Only films upside down when you, uh, at the point where you flip it back, it goes and it flips back again. Right guys, we're coming up for the castle. We guarantee you there's thousands of fly arrogant ag ag in here. Agaric? Well, why can I not say it today? Fly agaric. Fly agaric, son, thanks. My son could be your translators for the day. Right. Check that epicness, people, and we're going inside. We're going inside. How much did it cost, son? How much did it cost? Apparently this is the old stables for the horses. Got a nice big lock beside it as well.
right moody, moody place. It's got this sort of dark stone. I'm just here, son. It's all right. I've not disappeared. It's pretty indestructible, son, eh? Unless you had a big cannon. Even the walls are probably really thick. There's the Viking over there. We're not going to have any Viking reenactments today, son, eh? And Staffnage Castle. Please buy your ticket in the shop, which we've already done. Look at this. This is a natural rock. Look at it. It's just like boulders all glued together, all just melted together. This rock melted. That one See that? Oh, it is loose. That's your souvenir. A piece of Dunstaff in Edge Castle. Right guys, we're gonna enter the fortress. You see everything's like that dry stain style. Aye. Just tell me when the battery's low, and I've got to charge up when I'm a bag. So my son's doing the filming on my GoPro for me. So I've got to the entrance here. The sea out here. This would have been some spot. I like that sandiness in the... Is that the same colour you thought was like pigment or is that just that orange? No, I thought, oh, because it was kind of like unnatural stone colours. Right, let's enter the castle. Right, hopefully our signal. Let's look oh, at the... Th oh, I... I mean, I'll, I'll try and... Can I turn my light on? Let's see if I can turn my light on. Right guys, I'll be back in a second. I'm going to see if I can turn my light on. Can you... No. Aye, right, right. Well. Hold on. See? Do you want me to show you? Then you can turn your torch on. Can't do it right now. I can't now. do it. It's maybe because I'm streaming. Aye. Right. But from the top right, just... Put it down. Actually, it's, it's not that big, son. You can see. Right. You can go inside. I can see well in the dark, that GoPro, by the way. Look yeah. <laughs> at the slices of all. See, when you see a lot of these slices on castles, that was them sharpening their uh, blade. And when there was a battle. Old arrow slits. It's quite an epic area. Huge. Same again, this sort of rubble, rubble stone architecture. There's possibly another building here, this area. It's like Black Ness about, yeah? Black Ness Castle. It's quite similar to Black Ness Castle. Aye, very similar to Black Ness. Got some cannon holes here, which would probably be these were adapted into cannon holes. This is one of the oldest castles in Scotland, stone castles. And my son being a pro with a camera. There must be a room up there. You must be able to walk through there because you can see the floorboards. 
But it must be able to go well, in here somewhere. There must be a room up there. Maybe the house, some can in here probably as well. This is probably where the house the guns on in here. Because you've got the gun holes in there. The slick gun holes. And this is obviously the newest part, this part here. This house. Tower house. It looks like it anyway. I like it on Stephen's book. Aye. Aye, even if you run, son. It'll all stay straight. Ooh. Credia Castell, core of the castle. This courtyard was the heart of a busy, well-defended community. At one time, there was a drawbridge to stop uninvited visitors from getting in. The castle in the early 1500s was not only a fortress, it was home of the ruling family, a guest house, a barracks, an estate office, a court of law and a prison. It's no wonder the courtyard was always a hive of activity. A supply of fresh water inside the castle was essential, particularly if a siege was threatened. The well you can see in the courtyard was dug in the 1100s for an earlier fort, supplied by an underground spring. It was secure from contamination by an attacking force. And there was probably an earlier castle here before this castle as well. My son's just disappeared. Did you know that Staffanage was probably a thriving stronghold for centuries before the castle was built? Some think that the Gaelic fort Dun Mone stood here in the 600s. It has been argued that it safeguarded Scotland's coronation stone, the Stone of Destiny, below before it was moved to Scone. Scone. 843. Silver coin and copper brooch, which date from 12, 1300s, were found at the castle. It's pretty cool. People who lived here left many clues as to their activities. Archaeological finds include fine metalwork, pieces of pottery, stems of a wine glass, and clay pipes and chessmen. So, this is a, a reenactment. And you, the old house is still there. That's missing now, this part. Probably went along here. It's the West Tower. So I, it's where I, when I saw a quadrangle, I'm not sure what you call it, a quadrangle, where there's four towers on each corner, a square. Probably be doing a bridge here of some sort, probably at some point. What was that? What's that? No, it's a shape, again for the towers. Uh, no, I don't. It might be, it's quad something. Is this the well? Look at the well. Jed. It's a well. Have you? You already spotted it. So the old Gaelic kings were here. Oh. Nice architecture. warm here. Me and my son got all wrapped up because this morning it was so miserable. Oh, eh? See some... See the old fireplace down there. The kitchen. See a wee bit of decorative carving inside there. Just in there. It's got the swirls. It's like ram's horns. We'll, get, we'll go down there, maybe get a closer look. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Ah, I'm all right. It's my size 13 feet, son. They suddenly turn into skis when I'm on stairs.
This is the kitchen fireplace. And here's that decorative bit we could see. Still a bit remaining. This is the kitchen. That looks quite modern, this. Well, that piece looks modern. The rest of it looks pretty old. That middle piece looks a bit too new. That's a clever way they've sort of jutted it out. That must be a long slab that supports this. I mean, this must go right through. Quite clever. You warm, pal? Too warm, really. His mum was telling him to bring a scarf. Look at, look at the day. It's beautiful. That looks like a cement. That's definitely modern, because look, it's just a cement block. It's not even a good piece of stone. Is that wood? No, looks like wood, eh? That's a big, oh. That's a big chimney, son. A huge chimney. Obviously pigeons live in here. That's like a little uh, little cupboard where you really keep stuff. This could be a bit with the sharp and the knife some. Remember what I say is you find slashes on the rocks. This could be just kitchen knives. Okay, and it could be just sharpening Sharp knives. Knife. Then again, wouldn't stuff like that have like paint over it? Or, you know, something over it to make it... Maybe, but maybe we'd have worn, maybe the kitchen wasn't as decorated. Can decorate it. Because sure. it was just a kitchen area with smoke and... Smoke would probably make any paper or anything peel off. Do you even have wallpaper? No, nah, it was plaster. Yeah. You used like, like a plaster in Paris and smoothed it over, painted on top of it. Kertas is Kurmin. The Great Hall, Justice and Jovelty. The Great Hall occupied the whole floor above you. It was a hub of the castle where the Lord of Lorn sat in judgment during the day and hosted banquets in the evening. So above us, there would have been a flare. The Great Hall was part of the original castle, so little remains. However, that its layout is no longer clear. There may have been a large window where the donjon now stands. Donjon. <laughs> By the 1700s, the hall must have been remodelled because you can see a fireplace built into the doorway on the wall, on this wall. Fireplace built into the doorway. Is, is that there? The remaining windows are more easily seen from outside. As a sin, do dun stanis, farnak, feg, me sist, abani, marba eg, na ragri, da man sine, san rilan. And from there to Dunstaffinage, where I will not now not find joy, as the kings had that lie in the plain. That looks like a wee cufflink. Don John Tower next to the Great Hall was a fortified keep and not a prison dungeon. It was one of three towers added to the castle in about 1250 to provide the Lord with comfortable private rooms. It also gave defending archers a good view along the adjacent walls. The Lord bedchamber was on the top floor and his hall, his living and working room was below. The spiral stair linking the two gave access to a latrine that sat above an open chute. You can see it better from the outside. This lead stamp was found on the beach near Dunstaffinage. It would have used on the wax seals like a signature. They were fixed to documents to signify agreements to the handwritten decisions. Now 
The Don John. I don't know what that cat said that went viral. Don John. Oh, Long John. Don John. Don John. <laughs> Why did they put 2013 on all the bricks? You know what I mean? You didn't, you didn't have to put 2013 on them. We kept their mod on. You can see it. It was sharp there. <laughs> Blassad Gaelic Gaelic A taste of Gaelic Scan the code to try a few words of Gaelic I mean the son was doing Gaelic for a wee while it's, it's quite hard It's a hard language to learn Like what you say I think it's easier um, Learning the other languages Like French, Spanish And, like, and German and stuff Because there's loads of similarities With English But with Gaelic There's hardly any Similarities Hey son there, 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 there is a few, but fair, it's, it's more distant. I was looking at my Duolingo, and I noticed that thing, and she's pretty much just as much time doing German, and a wee bit more German. Oh. Is that because of your songs? As uh, Scottish Gaelic. I barely know any Gaelic, but I know a lot of German. Oh, so, so you're picking up. For sure. It takes much longer. And it's not like you want to learn German more than Gaelic. Mm. It's just... I'd want to learn Gaelic, but German's just easier. Aye. And it's just a better language to learn, eh? Yep. In memory. Forever eight years old, what a shame. Memorial here. Just probably for the last of you. No. Shame. The gate has built around 1500, replacing an earlier entrance. I so I was right, that was, this is newer. It's two upper floors were added a century later in the 17th century. The inner gate arch was blocked in order to form a cell, cellar inside. So guys, this is the inside courtyard. Very much like Blackness Castle. Very similar architecture. You can see this is later. Probably Normans, eh? Because I reckon, reckon there was probably a castle here before. This one. Uh, maybe a wooden one. Aye, a fort. There's, they say there was like a fort here. Can you get in there? No. Hey Jed. Jed, where are you going? Oh. Some games here for the kids. You can go up the tower here. Keithram a chaptain, captain's quarters. Built in the 1400s, this towering gatehouse provided fine accommodation for the Campbell captains. It replaced the cramped quarters of the Don John Tower, which we were just in earlier, guys. The Don John. See the fireplace here. You got a game, son? Someone's bag. Look. Someone's left their bag. Yeah, I will hand it in and Joey. Take it. Hand it into the place downstairs. Right. Yeah. Did you want to carry that, son? No. Someone's left their bag. Right, we'll no play. I'll have a couple of shots, so let's see. Let's see if I've still got it from my, my, my pitchy days. Oh, what do you think, son? <laughs> he's too kind. He's too. He's too polite, my son.
Which he then he slips in. So we'll just go back. And we came for the left hand side. How can you leave your bag, eh? Yeah, we came for this way. Hey son, see where the Viking warrior is? Oh. Going to the office and say someone's left their bag in one of the rooms. <laughs> Watch the stairs. Hey people! So who's all there? Epic. What's the names I've seen before? Here's my chat. Kenneth Mackey, I went up that strange circular tower that overlooks the harbour. Some kind of folly, I think it was pretty cool. I I mean spin round to Dunar right. <laughs> Not from there. You should take a spin round. Right. Dunolly Castle. Yeah, I must have missed that part. So I were at Dunstaffnage. Beautiful. My son's just handing back a rucksack that we found. Did you get a hundred pounds reward? Did you get a hundred pound reward? Did you get a hundred pound reward? No. Did you get a cup of tea or a scone or something? No, more like, oh, oh thank you. Oh, thank you. Scram now. <laughs> Scram. Scram. Scram, you don't like the Vikings. Scram. my son to go down and ask to get me ask him about the the hog back stones say ah oh, you're over you can your viking stuff eh do you want to tell us about the hog back stones i've not been up here yet son onwards oh shit it's been blocked fuck that's why we've not been up there that's lame that would have been an amazing view up there that's no cool. Do you want the GoPro back, son? Sure. You know what? The old dudes are way down there. I'm going to get a sneak shot up here, guys. I'm going to give you on. Uh, I better know because... I better know I... I better act responsible when my son's here. That's what I need to do. There might be something wrong with the stair. I don't know how to go through it. <laughs> I'm running up to get a picture. No. But very much uh, like Blackness. I've done a video of Blackness as well, guys. Somewhere. Somewhere hidden away. I just got that tower again. What, is this it? Is this it? I think this is it, son. I bet you there's loads of change in there, people chucking money. I can wish them well. I've got the tower, buddy. I lost my signal when I was going up there, though. That's the only thing. The walls are so thick. Before we found that bag. See? The all Scots are savages.
snakes and ladders. You want a game of this? Yes. Right. I'll, 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 I'll take the orange to counter. To get a counter. Right. Got a dice. I'll take the first shot since I initiated the game. Oh, three, is that all? One, two, three, oh. Ah, snakes, you go down. So we'll see if you land on a snake's head, you go down there. Yeah. I've played the most snakes last year. Right, chill it. Chill it. I am a, I am a, I am a champion. <laughs> hey, you need to roll it. Nah, see, that's... Right, two. <laughs> right, world champion. You got two. Oh, three. One, two, three. Hey, roll it, come on. No, we've no, we've no got all day, son. Five. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Well done. I don't think we're gonna finish this game. Well, the first one to 20, right? Five. So that'll be eleven. I just add that on. Oh, the Lord the winds are joust and gains honour in land. Aye. Hey, right, can I have one? First to twenty. I've got twenty-two. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Good game, son. I lost my signal, I'll just go right up to the top and I'll work my way down. Because the signal might be better at the top. The middle might be. It's pretty cool, right to the point. Build an arch. Can you build an arch, son? Build an arch. Right. So obviously. You just mirror me at the other side. Okay. That'll be the middle part. Oh, you're going to have to use the wood to support it. See the wood back there? Oh, yeah. I'll just forget. Oh, Can't be bothered with the engineer in the day. That's, that's just baby engineering, I'm sick of that. Look at the view. So we're on the top level. You've got a Viking at the bottom there. Viking? Die! One's fly strapped in the windy. It's like the exorcist. <laughs> Did you? Exactly. So the night I couldn't sleep because I couldn't <laughs> sleep. You, know, just in the you hear me speaking about the shining? Aye. And how you made some video on it. So remember, uh, I didn't know we got this many views. Remember the Halloween we done? Um, oh, yeah, yeah. That was like two Halloweens ago. Aye. We watched the ring for Halloween. Just be careful, son. It was really scary, but really good at the same time. So Aye. I don't know how to deal with it. I think I think it's I think it's quite a psychological one, with the mind. Yeah. But sometimes those are the better ones. It's got the beasties in the horse on. <laughs> no, look, get. Oh, ew. <laughs> you, you need to put your face in one when you've done that. Now we're going this middle landing. Okay. This is where I lost the signal. The Cambulac, the Campbells. In 1469, James III granted the lordship of Lorne and the captaincy of Dunstaffinage to traitor, I mean, uh, to Colin Campbell, first Earl of Argyle. He built his gatehouse to guard the entrance to the castle. Oh, look, we've got some food here. Mmm. Some steak and eggs. Got 
pot. Put a big potato on it. I want to make some soup. What did they cook in the cauldron? Everything, all at the same time. Mm, See the different layers? Really advanced pots. It's pretty cool, actually. What are you making? I didn't think it was an ingredient. <laughs> Bread? Is that a tie? Oh, it's a tie. Tie, a giant tie. After you cook the soup. Not really much decoration left, Sonny. Nah. Wonder. Did the guy say you can go out in the, the balcony? The guy says you can go out in the balcony, yeah. Oh, sure. Ah, oh, here it is, here. Here it is, here. Ah. Oh. Aha, son, yes. Yes, we can get up here. Nice. It's the part that we can get access to. And there's the courtyard down there. Oh, we've got amazing views up here. Look at the mountains over there. The Western Isles, Scotland. You can see the stables down there. At least we go up here eventually, son. Kala Er Falach, a hidden haven. The castle and its peninsula still shelter on Staffinage Bay from the worst of the westerly winds. They also hid mood vessels from view of potential attackers. My guns. For several hundred years, Nor Norway's kings ruled Scotland's northern and western isles. and much of the west coast, they appointed local kings of the isles to rule their territory from the Hebrides to the Isle of Man. The mighty Summerled was the last of these great warlords. His descendants, the MacDougalls, took sides alternatively with Norwegian and Scottish kings until the Treaty of Perth in 1266 granted the western seaboard to Scotland. The Staffanage commanding view of the sea and along the road from the Pass of Brander made it a highly prized strategic fortress. Dun Stithinus Nan Studian Arda and staffinage of the high walls. And this is a part that's been blocked off. I've taken like a gazillion pictures. <laughs> what was that? I've taken like a gazillion pictures. Good. It's warm, eh? Can I believe I put so many layers on? I've got the north face on, I've got like the, the whole shoot, I've got the whole shebang here. I've got my Scotland made three gardeners top on. Beautiful here, so I think we should s explore the surrounding areas as well, kind of like the harbour and because although the castle and <laughs> who goes there? <laughs> who goes there? Defend this castle and you had, say, like a hundred troops. How'd you do it? I'd probably spread half of them up here anyway, mm. or maybe a third of them, about 30 or 40 guys up here, have some at the gates and some in the center. Uh, cool Nan Balakin cool behind the walls. Wow, oh, he's really handsome. Who's that? <laughs> That Boris Johnson's his cousin. No, his cousin's from Russia. An aristocratic dispute. In 1908, the 
The 20th captain wanted to restore and live in the castle. His landlord, the ninth Duke of Argyle, below, disagreed and a court ruled in favour of the captain. Soon after, the captain was taken prisoner in the First World War. By this time, the roof of his new house had collapsed and its dormer windows were moved to the gatehouse. Look at his wee, look, he's got a wee swirly. He's got a wee swirly. Yeah. See the hair? Is that a beard? That's maybe a bit of a beard. Looks funny on the stomach. That's like a caricature. With a big head. It's got a weird nose. That's uh, the aristocracy, son. That's what happens with their noses when they, go, they stick them so far up fucking everyone's arse. They start pointing up the way. <laughs> no walk to run this way, pal. Some view. Got a forty over there. Sila Art, a towering outlook. The superb strategic location of the castle within a network of coastal strongholds gave it panoramic views in all directions. No vessel or marching army could approach Dunstaffinage without being seen. It's quite an epic location, I've got to say. Where are we? On this map? Is that? Where are we on this map? We are here. Uh -huh. So this is where we are, guys, on the map. It's Scotland. In the Western Isles here. Mingiri Castle. Duke Castle. Iona Abbey. We wouldn't mind visiting Iona Abbey one day, actually. A place where the Scottish kings were buried. That changed to Dunfermline Abbey and it turned into the Bruces and stuff. Mm. But this, the real Scottish kings are at Iona. Dunvegan Castle, I wouldn't mind seeing that one as well. There's loads of places I want to see here, in fact. That means four vegans. <laughs> yeah, but look, bacon. Bagels. Oh, you just got. I don't know what that was. It was bird crap. Was it? Aye. Jacobite heroin. Finnegal Nick Domnell, Flora MacDonald saved the life of Bonnie Prince Charlie after the Battle of Culloden by disguising him as her maid when they sailed over the sea to Sky. That wouldn't have been hard. <laughs> she was captured and held prisoner here in 1746, but transported to London and later released. I think eh, Bonnie Prince Charlie was about light in the loafers, eh? The King, ya stout, was stark and bald till Dunstaffnich right sturdily, a siege set in Bessley, a silent, ye castell it to get. So is that maybe the heroine or Bonnie from Charlotte? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, son. They look very similar. I think it could be the heroine just by the, the cleavage. <laughs> look, you can explore the... That's, I think that's what we'll do next, son, is explore the sort of outside oh, yeah. of the castle. How's my battery? I'm just going to check my battery, guys. It's getting low. So, i get the old power pack out. Get the old power pack. You want to have a sandwich or a drink with that, son? You sure? Can I have my cafe, son? Aye. Should you hold that in there? Aye. Hi. Because we're gonna, we're gonna walk anyway, so I'll just go Jeez. back to the car and then we'll walk around. But we'll explore the. I brought my charger with me. I think I left it in the car. Did I leave it in the car? Nah, nah, I never left it in the car. I'm just not looking properly, son. Because <laughs> I'm 
sure. We'll have to all have to. Cheers, Paul. Do you want to see the rest of the castle? I could just end the stream and just make it a castle, but we can have a walk around the place. It's nice seaside and there's a fire over there, I think. Is that fire? Is that smoke? Is it just me? Over there. I almost hear it. And the trees over there, see the white? See the smoke coming out? I don't think so. Looks like smoke over there. Maybe I'm seeing stuff. Clouds, maybe. maybe the mist. Maybe the har coming off the sea. Just a sandwich. I'm on it. Sure? Yeah. I'm gonna have one. Okay. We'll walk to the car. I'll get my power pack. And we'll probably walk around and then we'll head back. It's only head team now, it should just go here, eh? <laughs> There's battery on the GoPro. I think it's like 60 something. Aye, that's quite good. 62. Oh, okay. You sure? Do you want me to have one just so you don't have to put it in? <laughs> right, hold on. You put your adjuster. I put the lid on it and you can put it back in the bag. You never finished it. There's no point in putting rubbish in my bag. I'll put it in my pocket. <laughs> Hey guys, we're just debating our lunch here. I'm a bit debating, but there we go. Let's go sausage, bacon, egg. Sausage, bacon, egg. Hi. Mm. Pretty epic. It's a nice mountain over there too. So in between. Looks massive. Maybe that's why you've got one of them currently. So you look like a lassie. <laughs> because they look like a lassie. <laughs> I think he was a bit light in the loafers, like. Sounds like something my granddad used to. Light in the loafers. Light in the loafers. Donali Castle's quite close. Car wasn't being service, I'd meet you for a coffee. <laughs> In Fagan Castle. Jamie Brown's castle. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie would like done vegan. No, 
Yeah, because there's too many people on all fours there. <laughs> too many people crawling. Hmm? That's actually Gaelic for childish exercise. <laughs> Hey son, let's go down in the car. The power pack. <laughs> Someone's taking a photo of the castle. I'm going to be in his photo. He's going to be on my stream. So, buddy, go back through here. <coughs> Thanks. <laughs> Careful of the stairs, sir. Such a lovely lad, they're saying. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> See, you can't, you can't take the Jed out of your Jed. You can't take his dad out of him. I know. <laughs> I want the snakes and ladders, eh? That's warm when you come out here, eh? It's like warm, warm air. I might actually chuck my jacket in the car as well, going to explore. It's a good idea there. Car, son. So I've been nearby. I can't finish the sandwich. There's one over there beside that shed. <laughs> shed house. Whatever it is, building. Gift shop. Office. <laughs> Ticket office. Look at this, guys. Think about the heat it would have took to melt all these stones together. Big boulders. Coming out of the earth, get melted. Right, we'll go back to the car, we'll get uh, the power pack. There's a Viking. Watch it for the Viking. <laughs> we, we were devising a plan about um, asking him about the Viking guy with hogback stones. He probably doesn't know anything about them. Come on, we'll go through the forest, son. You know what? It just goes that way. Go that way. Can't be bothered going the same way all these. People are going. Hello, Sue. Nice to see you. We are at Dunstaffnage. Dunstaffnage Castle up near Oban on the Western Isles of Scotland. Around a two and a half drive from the Lothians. It's quite the trek. I can see stairs over there, son. Oh, is that the same ones we went up to the chapel? Aye. Aye. Because remember, there's like a woman's going, what a bee, what a bee. Oh, aye. 
I chucked my jacket in the I chucked my jacket in the car, it's too warm. Put like ten layers on. Look at this place, it's beautiful. It's like spring again. Look at this place. Awesome. It's warm. I wonder what it's like doing at the Lothians. I bet it's still raining. We'll just, we've seen the chapel, so we'll just go this way. Let's follow the path along. I'm sure I had my power pack in my, in my bag. There's that gate something that we went through at the beginning. Aye. So we're not that far away from the car, really. I think we should get a Green Act tour off the Western Isles King to fought off the Vikings to, uh, like, every so often they'll just like, start battering the Viking guy. It's funny because they became their own sort of, kind of Gale Scott, the Gale Norse Gales. So it was like a mixture between the Vikings and the, the Gael. They had their own sort of thing going on. They weren't Norse and they weren't Gaels, they were Norse Gaels on the Western Hebrides and the islands. I can see the cars, son, I can see the cars already. You see the nick of my car, guys. I got stuck in a. I had to make a U turn. And I went into a parking sort of bit, but there was two cars already parked there, so I had to squeeze past them and I went through like this big muddy puddle and oh, nearly got stuck. It's like wheels spinning and mud everywhere. We went past the lock further up and there wasn't a ripple. You could just see the reflection of everything, eh, son? It's, it's a slight ripple, but it's not reflective enough. What would be that lock we seen? It was just pure reflection. It's like a mirror. It's just like a mirror we're looking at. Just a reflection of everything. It's like glass, eh? Oh. Mental. For some reason, this feels like it should be like a sword. Oh, I can't believe. I missed your live stream. I'm talking to my family in Edinburgh for two hours. We've not missed it yet, but we're going back to the car to get some power. This stream is continuing. Maybe cheese ball. <laughs> <laughs> See, he's not that nice. And the camera's not on, he's beat me up. <laughs> Wait, the camera was on? <laughs> We can get some pictures. We can maybe change the battery for that as well. How much is left? 62. Maybe still enough. Uh, aye, there is actually. You tap the side. I think it's only got two. Uh, yeah. So that one? Aye, that one, possibly. Oh, yeah. Oh. So I quite like the picture of one of the boats. Move it up, aye. You, you move up your finger, keep your finger on it. You tap it. I just tap it. Right now, keep your finger on it and scroll up. Oh, look at that. And I can. I need to figure that one out, son. You do, there is a wee bit of zoom in it, like. You've got a better gap here. You 
May as well take the jacket off anyway. It's too warm. Or one of them. How you doing, Bright? Good to see you, Robert. Hope you're doing well, mate. I'm just getting back to the car. Look at the mud. Look at the mud on my car. Fucking wheels spinning. Look at that. Unreal. On my roof as well. Is that open? Jesus. I don't think I, I don't think I looked at it. Oh, well, I was uh, I was good enough to hand in the that bag. Oh, well, you that you were. Is my power pack there? No. Do you know what? I think it's in my bag anyway. But I was going to come to the car. Why are you, why are you sitting down? Alright, we're not coming back in. No. I'll leave my jacket there. I told you we just put my jacket in that. That's something I think to get all comfy or something. Bradley, just go here, pal. We've took two and a half hours to drive here. I'm not coming for half an hour and going away again. I'm going to explore this area. I'm wondering, uh, how you doing, V Thomas? Found it. Found it, son. Found it. Do you want the battery changed on that? Or? It's okay, it's still at 60. Aye. Yeah. Do you know what? We'll just leave. That'll be enough for the rest of the. Yeah. Want me to bring crisps? Come on, I'll just bring my, I'll just bring my bag again. I'm going to take my jacket off. Aye. I can see myself in there, I see. Don't you wanna know? Nice uh, BMW over there. Wide angle, eh? <laughs> the you be all goofball all your whole life, son. Mm. What? Take that off as well. I'm not sure if it's hot enough to leave my hoodie. Nah, nah. I've got my wallet. I've got my bag again. I believe the state of my car. Unreal. It kind of feels like uh, it should have, you know, a wee button to take the pictures on the hand. Aye, aye. There's, there's a few things about the GoPro I didn't really like. You have to open the thing to charge it as well. Aye. And open the side yet. Mm -hmm. Rather than just stick it in a hole. Mm -hmm. Externally. Right, guys. I should be charging now. Where you are? <clears throat> I 
can't believe how warm it, uh, warm it is, son. It's about 16, 17 degrees Celsius here, by the way. It's so warm. In the castle, we'll take a walk around the castle now. Lock my door this time. Sorry, people, for the delay. I'm just trying to get everyone ready. I don't want to leave it in. Too far away to leave it in. Don't you want to know, be a friend of mine, I'll share some wisdom with you. Right, you ready son? Canada. Canada? Yeah. This is maple leaf. Canaline. No! <laughs> Canaline. <laughs> Canaline. Right, we'll go back yeah. to the castle. Go back to the castle, but we'll walk around it, the grounds of the castle. I'm sure there's some more interesting stuff there. That's you a weird park. Your army, you can try to look like a, a British army man. What if I am a British army man? <laughs> My son thinks I look like a British army man. I've got more. Put my khakis on. Jesus, that's some pocket, that. There's a pocket in the leg of these trousers. Mental. And <laughs> ah, you can't use it. Because you just bend your knee into whatever you put in the pocket. There you are. How you doing, V. Thomas? Kenneth Mackey, Sue Evans, Bright, Robert, even though I can't see you, Katrina McInnes, how you doing? Hope you're, uh, hope you're sorted. Roseview Campsite, I stayed in at, in Oban, nice place if you're ever looking. I am definitely going to come up here more often in the future. I mean, next summer, make a, make a effort to come to more places on the Western Isles. What's that? You dog. Yeah. They don't need water sweet, you know what I mean? He's such a charmer, eh? Right. <laughs> charmer. Oh, they're cutting the grass up there. I'm glad uh, I got away. Noisy. We're walking in this path. <laughs> <laughs> right.
Right, we're gonna we've been in the castle, we've been in the woods with the chapel, we've seen the We're gonna walk around the edge of it now. Cause usually close to castles are just interesting things. Just the harbour and all that itself's quite nice here. Sicky foaming, son. So if you just arrived, people were on the Western Isles at Dunstaffnage Castle, which is about a mile north from Oban. Nice though, eh? Look at that mountain. Right pointy. It's a pointy mountain. Look at that bench. It's pretty cool. That bench looks so comfortable. Aye. And the water, can the waves. Oh, look at anchor. No, oh, aye. Oh, aye. It's a pretty cool design. Would you like this in your room? Uh, it doesn't look that comfy. <laughs> Precious memories of Ian Darrock Drummond. That sounds like a name that comes for this area, yeah? Aye. Darrock Drummond. some video as well son just like 10 seconds of video looking across can okay, panning across slowly all right. All right. Take like a few seconds there's a bridge over there we've seen that when we're coming in What did you do with your juice? I so finished it. You finished it? Aye. Do you want to go over that bridge? Are you laughing at it? Halfway over. That view. Look at that view. It's a cool wee boat down there, like the speed boat. See this one? Wee dinghy. Wee dinghy. But it's quite fast. It's hard. It just feels so dodgy. Spotted something. I just spotted something, son. Aye. My eagle eye. Watch the uh, go up that way, son. Mud. Mm. 
Ja. Oh, hi. Jesus. Oh, hand right in that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was the shirt. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, I was trying to get to that over there, look. You see it? Uh, when you get over to it, it's just like a power generator. <laughs> <laughs> then your car's covered in water and so are you. Right, sharp. <clears throat> oh, jeez. <laughs> you just stay where you are. Let's go beside that tree. Could be an old well. Bunker, an old bunker. Oh, my hands, man. <laughs> They're laughing at me in the chat, son. It's just a wee. It's just a wee square, a wee cube. Don't know, a wee storage room for something. Maybe for fish. It looks pretty old. The top doesn't look old. That looks modern. That's that's modern cement. That. But this is this is quite old. I'm not totally. Look at the state of my bottle, man. Oh my god. I don't care if I'll be able to drink that coke, son. That tree. A butte. Oh, Jed, the castle looks pretty smart for this side. Aye. You want to come up? Come over this way. Follow the wall at the top. How you doing, Adrian? Nice to see you, man. You just missed me falling on my arse. Oh, check that fun guy out. Jed, you should see this fun guy. Go to the other side. seen stuff like that before it's a weird pink color my phone's no doing it in a just it's coming up so like an orange color on my phone it's more like a pink and there's a dog with a frisbee <laughs> you probably get the colour better on the GoPro. God. Just watch your head. Salmon pink. Ah, it's like a salmon pink, aye. I'm just saying I've got to climb this wall. Alright. Do you want me to climb it too? Aye. That's my son. That's my son, Adrian. That's my boy. You know tell. Check the castle. Look. They're trying to sneak in, and they're trying to sneak into the castle. A 
I've already been at the car, I've been inside the castle, man. I've, if you go back to the beginning of the stream, inside the castle, I've been up the tower, I've been walking along the balcony. I've been in the chapel in the woods. Hey, son. Hi. Hi, I've been there. Uh, that's quite smart, though, the front of it. Hi. Looks much more impressive for this side than it does the back end of it. Aye. Smells like curry. That's a big arse tree. Aye, so there would have been a, a drawbridge or something coming through here. Back in the original time. There, would have, there wouldn't have been that staircase there, son. Keep the keep the grass all nice around here. I can't even slip my thumb there, but it's one of these slits that doesn't bleed. You slit your thumb, but it doesn't bleed, and it's staying. Oh, you know what ones? It's like a paper cut, aye. Like I got a paper cut when I fell there. That's in there by accident. No. It's so hard to get in the shot. It's huge. It must be a plane. It's making a trail. It's going straight down. <laughs> it looks like it's going straight down, but it's going across the sky. It's your perspective. Oh. It's like watching a a railway line. Mm -hmm. Can you think you think a train's going away up into the sky if it was getting, because the track's going up, mm -hmm. but it's going straight along. Oh. It's just your perspective because it you've got vanishing point in your perspective, son. Aye. Those are thick ass walls as well. There's a car park. Hey right, son, you gotta come over the wall. Yeah. Uh, aye, come over the wall. Remember I'm in the British Army. I'm a khakis on. You can see there was probably stuff here as well. There's ruins. Looks like another kind of tower here. See a circular, circular tower, possibly, here. British Army terrain specialist falls over. Aye, enough of that. One of the days, son, it's one of these slippy, wet days. See the trees' roots uprooted some big boulders. And look at this. What was this back in the day? Was this where you we cast your boat down? Uh, and you going to go into the lock? Could be. Like a channel, guys. The hell was that? <laughs> Just a leaf. Yeah. Sound like a sniper shot. Yeah, it's a Taliban try to get you. This does look like it's an old stairway though, Ken. It does look like it was something at some point. Just watch your feet, son, it's slippy. That's really slippy here. So is that sea lions over there? Are you just staying up there, pal?
It's like the air's breathing, eh? Can you see this coming in, innit? It's like breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Get your get yourself at the same rhythm of the environment. You still stuck up there, buddy. You could probably come down that with your ravine, but we channel. Beautiful. Beautiful. I'll come back up. The sea must come. Oh, this is a oh, this is a sea. I was going to say this is a lock, but this is a sea. <laughs> that was a river. This is a sea. Hey, son. Yeah. Look. <laughs> He's stuck over there. It's quite good. It's actually quite good. I'm getting some peace and quiet for him for about five minutes. Until he figures out how to get over. It's quite slippy over here, son. I'm, I'm slipping. I've got my tactical army boots on. My swap boots. These bad boys. They're bad boys. Still, I still fell on my arse. Well, you managed to get through. Beautiful here, son. Really slippy, though. Like, I need to emphasize how slippy it is, because remember, you're holding my GoPro, didn't you? You fall and smash it on the... Oh, just take it easy, but no, I mean, see when you get to the black rock? That's when it gets slidy. The grassy bits are all right. The boat coming over, pal. You stay over there. I'm coming back. Can of emphasize how slippy, slippy, it's just like greased. Greased. It's so slippy. It's like ice. I don't know when you're coming over, son, because you're. I suppose your your trainers are all right, like, but it's too. Can you do us a favour, buddy? Get this juice in my bag. Yeah. I hold GoPro. GoPro. All right. It's always good to have my wee slave with me, guys. <laughs> a wee butler. Right, we'll go back up somehow. Come up, we'll try and go along the edge here, the edge of the beach. Is it still slippy? Not bad. That looks slippy. It's another channel. Right, we'll go up this way, pal. Just follow me. 
Actually, didn't he follow me? Go back. Because there's leaves everywhere, you can't see. You can't see anything. You like bud? I'm the Terrain Specialist. Can you go This way? Keep going. You don't see me standing here like. Oh, well, there's only one way I can go to there to here. Climb up. Yeah. Step up, but it's not a climb, it's just a step. You should be clear for there. Clear sailing. Be free. Hey, come on, bud. Still got an adventure. Best adult dating site. Who? Best adult dating site removed. Who said that? I don't know, you just get these adult sites for some reason appearing on your live streams and in your videos. It's like Russian bots or some shit. I don't know. Scammers, Scammers aye, they put links in your comments. Your aye. Yep. How are you going? How are you doing, motor? Motor's here. Can a New Zealand guy punch his uh, punch bag? Oh, yeah. You like motor, eh? Punch the punch bag. Oh, yeah. I headbutts the punch bag as well. He does that as well. That's nicer. Feels like we're standing on something that could have been. Aye, how that feel? Good, like shallow grave. Aye, aye. It's like it's hollow under our feet. Watch the branches, son. Oh. Oh, obviously, watch the branches. I feel walking it one myself. Oh. That looks like it could be. I don't think that's a uh, muscaria. I think it's like red, and it's similar. It's red. I don't think that's muscaria for some reason. I think it's a white one that goes that colour kind in water, mm -hmm. and it's wet. Some more here, but they're no. These Very ones. Cute. Like a Mario. Yeah. Mario. Look at these ones. So. Explode. Pick, pick one of them. I can't even see a trap. No, just pick it. Yeah. Whoa. It's slimy. <laughs> Look. But I don't think that's Amanita muscara. Do you know why? Why? Because Amanita muscaria uses a root system. The parasite, but well, it's not parasiting, but it has a symbiotic relationship with a tree. Mm -hmm. There's no tree here. It just seems to be like a rotten piece of wood. 
So that's maybe a sign that that's not muscaria. Right, I can go over the, these bits here, go through the fern. Oh, it's marshy, son. It's marshy. Soggy. Oh, jeez. Really soggy. Right. Go over that way. Stand on the reeds. Stand on the reeds. Just stand on them. Yeah. Stand on them. Just stand on them. They'll, they'll stop your feet sinking in the mud. And just walk around. I just got bit off a midgey. Hey right, son. It's not too bad, just just walk. Just walk fast. You see the slower you are, you'll just sink. Sounds like, sounds like magpies, eh? Yeah. Sounds like we've got a bunch of magpies somewhere. We're just ended up like bog warriors. How are we struggling with the muddy? Because we're, we're too civilised now. That's why I'm trying to get back to my roots, son. Try to be a bit more savage. Why do you think you're such a nice boy? Because I'm such a nice boy. Because you've got such a nice dad. People think your dad's... People think your dad's a, a Neanderthal, but... Neanderthals couldn't raise a little gentleman like this. A little educated gentleman. Yes, a you said it. it would only take one of a homo <laughs> 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 that looks fun. <laughs> you kid in the swing. It's cute, eh? Cute to be that innocent again, like your sister. I like this. Is it? Huh? Alexis is cute. As long as you can still hear the grass cut or somewhere, still near the castle. Aye, bro, you man, you're wee. So James, you got some good footage for me to make my video, son? Yeah. Look where we are. Again. Old chapel.
Looks to be a wee lock or something over there. A big puddle anyway. You can see reflections in water. It's just really damp, son. Swampy. Really swampy. It just doesn't need to do it justice, eh? Look at the camera, son. Oh, I see what you mean. Well, let's try this one. Looks white. This is bright green, by the way, guys. This is bright green. You can see it on yours. Looks a bit better than yours. It's weird, eh? It doesn't, it's like it doesn't come up green on the video. It's bright green. It comes up white. The camera, maybe it's the way lights reflected off it. Maybe window there, son, or something. The chapel walls are so thick in these buildings, eh? Like, you wonder if they're almost like a defensive thing as well. Look how thick these walls are. This is. This is a good two and a half, three foot thick chapel walls. We just walked through the rest of the wood into the car park, son. You can see the edge here. A wee bit of decoration. Aye, but we'll go through here. Or is it too swampy again? I think it's just too swampy through there, son. You know what? We'll just stick to the paths. Since some way you... Yeah, you've got the right footwear. See the two different styles there. Oh. See that's added later on. That was by the Campbells, that thing. But look, even though it's later on, it looks so inferior. It looks inferior. Again, okay, it looks like mostly cement yeah. or mortar, and it's mushed in. There's more. There's more scores. It might be natural. Maybe. Ooh. Right. I think that's it, son. I'm not really up for the... We'll just walk through the rest of this forest to the car park, though. I'm just getting bit by things. <laughs> hey, midgey, there's quite a lot of midgey's a bit here. I'm immune to midgey bites. Are you? Because came when I was doing rugby, so I'm like, oh. I think it was like two months or something, but uh, there was like a day where there were so many midgey's, <laughs> and they're all going to take them <laughs> ginger and <pear. coughs> And I was the one getting bit, so I, I, I guess I got bit so many times I just became immune. So I take it, I take it the midges were like, Ginger's on the menu tonight! Yeah. You know, flew towards you. So now you know midges bite me. They actually, uh, die. Make you power up? They, like... You get like midgey aids, because there's so much <laughs> 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 You get midgey aids? Yeah, because there's like, so much midgey poison, right? <laughs> My blood, it's like we get midgeeds from... Midge 
It's not HIV, it's MIG. MIG. Quite cool, eh? The, the, the fallen tree with the moss on it. Quite nice. I was watching a video of our Americans and like, camping in the Pentlands. And they're going, now I know why the people are complaining about my juice. <laughs> my juice are so bad because they keep on biting me. <laughs> my juice. Some people call them midge. Doing the midge. Uh, the midges. This feels like an old tree stump, old giant tree stump. Feels like it. A long drive back, son. Yep. You gonna go for a wee kip? Yes. I'll just make a little bed in the back and go. If you make noises like that, you're being kicked out. You get the bus in. Hi. Going me 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 me. Oh look, there's a, there's a wee swing. Swing. Made it our boy. The harbour. Hey. Puffer ball. Puffer ball. Is that a puffer ball? Aye. I've got writing in mycology over this summer. If you wonder what mycology is, study shrooms. Look at that, that's all the pores. Yeah, son. Just split open a mushroom and it's all the stuff inside it. It's pretty. Yeah, it's, it's pretty. Aye. Ah, oh, well, I think so. An old one. There's another, another nice fun guy that you get, and it's an amethyst, amethyst fun guy. Cool. See underneath purple. Yeah, looks like an amethyst. That's called the amethyst. And you can eat them. Can you? Aye, they're, they're no, they're no toxic, but they're not very good to eat. They're not very tasty. They've not got much flavour. To be fair, they're probably really dirty as well. What fungus is this? Just a young 
I think it could be hazelnut. Is it hazelnut? No, what kind of nuts are these? See the nuts? Yeah. <sighs> Not even a nut. I think it might be a hazelnut. A hazelnut tree? Not sure. Hazelnut chocolate. <laughs> Soggy. Hazelnuts on their own are disgusting. Hazelnuts mixed with chocolate. Oh, okay. Another one. I think that was the one I flicked. Oh, no, wait. I just picked it. Oh. Another one. Yeah. So a couple. Oh yeah. But I think they're they're not. I don't think they're Amanita muscaria. Like I said. They've not got the universal veil, like the wee skirt underneath. Because uh, the mascaria starts like a... starts like an egg. I'm just going to put some moss in other places that grows in like anywhere else. It could be these, in fact. These things here. A nice collection. Oh, there the amethyst ones again. Maybe. Oh, that's. Can it pick it? Oh, yeah, they're amethyst. They're just small, really young ones. I have the urge to take that home <laughs> and put it in a little jar and grow it. It's, it's pretty cool, eh? Nice colour against the green as well. Mm -hmm. and there's another one sticking up. That one didn't look as nice, so I didn't <laughs> mention that one. There's more of these ones. They're like fake, they're like fake fly, ag, ag, fly amanita, muscaria. <laughs> I think they just go all ready, pinky colour, get over time, mm -hmm. these ones. Mm. <coughs> really hard to walk around here, I've noticed. Jed, keep that. I think it may be a shungite. What's shungite? A shungite. Look at that type of fungus. Explain to us what a fungus is. <laughs> a shungite. It's a big stone here. Yeah, it sounds like the mix of the S word and fungi. Sungai. Look at that fungus. Just because they're rotten wood. Oh, yeah. See the one you found earlier? That was a proper one, kind of one you found at the side of the road. Yeah. That definitely was one. Yeah. 
it's a shame because Kenneth would have filled in the Fiverr promotional deal. <laughs> You had at least one five already. This would have been like a gold rush. Okay. You know what I mean? Gold rush, please. Right, we're back to the car park. Now look. Look what's been spread, son. Hmm. <clears throat> Looks like a mushroom to me. It could be a snake. Ah, actually, it could, you, it could be right. It could be a smiley face with a tongue sticking out, eh? You know, the split tongue. Really? I just see mushrooms everywhere now. Everywhere. You look like a mushroom right now, just walking. It's that season. It's you see mushrooms everywhere season. Aye. How will you walk along here? And we'll jump in the car. I'm good, yeah, I'll feel it <laughs> Car, car park gates are locked at 4 pm. A bit of beach in here. Walk along the beach a wee bit, son. Mm. Ah, you can take your footies, I'll walk slow. How clear that water is. You want to stick the GoPro in the water? Take a photo under the water. I've, no, I've never took a photo under the water. You can maybe do, be, be the first to take a photo under the water. But you need to put you need to put your hand in a deeper end as well. Just hmm? just yeah, it's been a video. Right, just set that it's X. Try and go to a deeper part and turn it upside down. Record first and then put it in the water. And you know what I mean? Try and do a photo under did, no, did, well, ah, you could try and do a photo under, but I've never tried that. But I've hit the record button and I've d dunk it under. You know what I mean? Did you get a photo? Aye. Aye. Try and take a couple. It just feels weird putting it in the water. It just Amazing. doesn't feel right. <laughs> what a view. It doesn't feel right. It feels like you're going to break it. How'd you look at the videos and photos you've taken? I think you swipe the other way. Yeah. Uh, swiped in. 
that sweep up. That's, um. that's it. So it's, you sweep up to see. That's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's cool. I think you should get a couple more of these like, looking over at the mountains. Oh, the, check that one. oh, look at that. Is that your photograph? Is that the photo? Yeah. That's awesome. I'll, I'll flip that around and the. the yeah. That's awesome. I'll try and get another, maybe an underwater one and lifting it up and looking at the mountains again as you raise it up. Yeah. Now, you're better recording first and then. Punking it under, because then you didn't have to put your finger under to press the button. I know, but I think it'd be cool. You know, it started underwater and went up. I know, but you can edit it. That's yeah. what editing's for. You can just cut that boot at the start. <laughs> Maybe what he did them for a wee bit longer, maybe 10 seconds or something. That's cool, it's so clear, eh? Let me have a shot. Wait, please stand close to me because it's in the charger. Oh, hit record first. Like that way, and then hit record. Okay. Stand back a bit, so. Just to the side, to the side. So it looks like in there. I've got your phone, what have you heard about that? Let people see. Oh, that's cool. How awesome is that? I know. Well, you try, try a couple more, just experiment, take a few photos. So I think they kind of pictures are rare, Ken, to get underwater film. So just, just muck about with it. You might get some stuff floating in front of it. You can try and get some seaweed maybe or something like that. can float in front of it. No, no, totally blocking it though. can just maybe going past it, can I? Or this stuff, what's this? Is this like sand or grit or something? Sue reckons that's amazing. It is amazing. That's four, that's going to be 4K, so I'll show, okay. show it on video. Look at his photo. Look at his photo, guys. That looks, you wouldn't believe that's underwater. Jesus. I think you should take a couple of more of them, like. Mm. I'm going to, let me see what it looks like. Uh, hold that in there. You'll get your hand over the camera. Yeah, I know, I'm just going to turn around so you've got more space. Thank you, Sue Evans. <laughs> Sue Evans says she wants one of them.
Wow. To be fair, the phone camera doesn't do it justice, you know, with the uh, cliffs no, and that. Because Ken how it's Ken how it's lighter, so you can see each individual almost ridge. outline and ridge. Is it just darkens it all out. Five years and five likes must be a good sign. See the photos. Oh. You scroll the other way. Do you want me to do it? This was wet. That's just going through the video, I think. Ah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so cool, though, eh? Clear us. Look at that. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Oh, wow. Yeah, that took about four or five. Mm-hmm. The colours on the bottom. Again, the one I've got, is that waterproof? In that case? Aye. See that case you've got? That case it's makes it waterproof. How cool would it be uh, to do that while kayaking? That's a video. Oh, nice. I think that's your one, maybe. I'm not sure. Maybe. No, no, that's the one I took. I took it when it was half in the water. Aye. The camera was half in, half in, so it was like a reflection, look. Oh, that's cool. The camera, I took it so the water was right across the middle of the lens. Aye. And it's made a reflection. How crazy is that? It's made a reflection at the bottom of the sea, of the sea on the, in the, the roof of the water. <laughs> That's crazy, eh? Dad's chuffed. <laughs> <laughs> that was like an epic shot, like. <laughs> so Evan says she can't wait to see the final video. Aye, right, I'll let my son have some more fun with it. That's, I'll get too excited with that. You can take a few more until the battery runs it or whatever. Oh, sorry guys, hand on the camera. Amateur mistake. <laughs> Sir? <laughs> now you, you get a GoPro app with it. So you've got your phone, you've got the GoPro, and you've got the app, and those three things work together, kind of thing. But you don't necessarily need the app. The app stores, the app's like a cloud. Once you take all the photos on this, the, the, it goes onto the, the app on your phone. So then you can take it into the, the GoPro studio and edit the videos and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. The thing is, I think these cameras are waterproof as well, son, to a certain degree. See these iPhones? I think you can dunk them into a certain point. I wonder, I wonder if I should try. Cause I know these iPhones, you can dunk, dunk them in so, in so deep in the water. You try to get one of the reflective ones that I had. I was like a genius photograph. I'll never be able to do that again. It's quite cool, but it's a wee bit sort of focused there. Right at the yeah. Front. Which is all right if you're. Oh, that's the next one. That's the next one. Yeah, I, I thought I was taking a photo, and then <laughs> I was actually taking a video. So then I actually um, I look over at the camera. <laughs> How much memory in the cards left? Oh, how'd you check? Top left. 
Oh, oh, there's plenty of memory in the card anyway. Aye. Well, that's for photographs. Mm -hmm. See if you flick it to video, it'll change up there. How much memory is left for video? 39 minutes. So you've still got 39 minutes of video. What's that splashing? Same throwing stones. Let's, let's play, let's throw things in the... Uh, let's see the zoom on. Oh, was the zoom on? Uh. I'll need to get another shot now, the zoom's off. The water's probably good for cooling it down. See these cameras, they get quite hot. So putting in the water probably cools them. It's a bit nicer. Mm. Doesn't look any special, like, but it's, it's a nice one. You've got to use it as a centrepiece in your photo. You can do wide-angle lens shots as well, can in your photograph, so it takes in more can width. Has it? Aye. Let's see. God, my hands are freezing now. <laughs> aye, that's wide angle, aye. Mm -hmm. The insane stone throwing competition. Right. I'm going to do a wee bit more. Alright. You can film me if you want. For the stone throwing competition. He lines up the shot. Getting ready, he fires. So close, yet so far. Stiff competition today at the Ultimate Stone Throwing Championship. Shot is lined up, thrown, and he had a small pebble. Good splash, but so far. Close. Err. Oh, so close. The shot is lined up. Fired. Not that close. Fired. Oh. <laughs> Ready? Fired. Wah, wah, wah. Wee. It was closer. Oh. Still going on. Fired. Oh, that was a that was over there. Wee. Oof. It's a big stain. Okay, well, that's what they should be doing. Skimming it over the water, I'd probably hit it. But no, this isn't skim over the water championship. This is the ultimate rock throwing championship. Oh, and that was, that was closer, it's getting closer. Every shot they take, they just knock it further back, so it's getting more and more difficult. Have you gotten good footage? Aye. I've been doing some insane commentary over the Rock Throwing Championship. Shut up. <laughs>
Right, let's see what the result of that last one was. Yeah. How's the plan? How's the plan? Thank you. There's a good chance we're going to go see him chucking rocks at that. Yeah, one more shot. <laughs> Barry's done quite well. You should maybe get like a handful of the wee pebbles and chuck them in the water while you're filming. See the effects? Yes. Is that your special effects? That was my special effects. Hands are getting a wee bit cleaner for you to fill. <laughs> that looked like a giant boulder there. Aye. Uh, it was actually lost footage of the giant boulders. So Evan says, you can hear, can you hear the sound under the water? Yeah, you can. It's just that kind of noise. The camera really doesn't do it justice at all. Like, you can barely see the castle because it's just dark. I have a GoPro, I have his old one. It's funny because that wee plastic thing started over there and it's made its way all the way here. There we go. Still looks good though. Aye.
to be fair, GoPros probably come out like every year or something, so they're probably just the same most of the time. Oof. It's probably better to get uh, like a new one when there's been a few others out, so there's a lot more changes. Right, let's see if I can win the rock throwing competition. Ah, okay, well, I was a bit harsh on the bearings because I'm quite crap at it too. I'm alright, right. I've taken over your live stream. No, oh, I. They've been using an anchor. Oh, aye. In boats. Is that your new weapon now? Let's see if I can get in that. Uh... Aye. aye. Right, the ultimate rock throwing championship. He readies his shot. He throws. Jesus. Big splash, but no result. Going in for another boulder. <laughs> Try a weir stone. It's only this gin. Right. He goes in. He fires. Ah. Oh. Maybe something like this would be better. Ah! Oh. Oh, so close. Poor. Poor. <laughs> That's because I'm using my left hand. See if I can use my left hand instead. Right. <laughs> oh, so close, so close. You're actually moving it with the waves. Try this one, Dad. <laughs> Try this one. <laughs> That's a fucking bulldog. I know. How do you feel about today's performance, sir? <laughs> I would give myself more training. Yes. In the future. You don't say. <laughs> I had the poor, I never had the line. The poor? 
It's got the prrrr. I've got the prrrr. <laughs> Try this one. My line is spot on. Try this one. It's like a baseball, that one. They made baseball the other, crap or the other. It's like, it's like this. Let's go do one. It's got Try and stand right in front of it. Welcome all the new viewers. This is my dad trying to throw a rock into a little plastic piece of crap. He's probably on his like 12th stone now. Right. Okay. So Evan says, watch your time. time so Evan says, watch your time for what the time car park. I'm not sure. Time is up. Do you want me to still take over your stream? Okay. We'll get them next time. Thank you, guys. Just pull it in the power. Okay. Pull the power out. See, see you later, Timmo. You can flip the camera in. All right, hold on. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> hey, guys. Cheers for joining us. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.